Hello. I think I know what you're thinking. How can I start a TikTok career? Don't get swept up in the things, this is from personal experience, but don't get swept up in this, you know, looking at everyone else's accounts for the views, comparing yourself to other people, to um, thinking you've got to be like someone else. I've done all, all those things and it honestly, what it does is just ruins your whole entire vibe. It's not something you want to kind of get involved in. You've got to be able to be yourself. So don't, don't compare yourself to anyone else, ever. Just don't do it. Believe me, it's the best thing. Just don't do it. This is the Great British YouTubers podcast with me, Neil Mossy. Hello, it's awesome to have you here. This is a place where we share advice, experience and tips with high achieving creators and performers, just like you. And in this episode, Stephen McKell. Stephen has over 2.3 million followers on TikTok, clocking up over 500 million views. He also has a YouTube channel, so is absolutely the best person to talk about YouTube versus TikTok. This is part three of our chat and all the other episodes are in the description. Stephen McKell, what advice would you have for anyone starting out on TikTok? Mm, there's a lot. I love it. Uh, some, some really core cool advice would be um, stay authentic, um, do the trending hashtags and do the content that's trending um, and you know don't be discouraged by not getting you know loads of views or whatever very quickly um, and don't be discouraged if you do get the views or uh, kind of plateaus a bit that happens to everyone and um, but really stay authentic to what you like what you do if there's a niche content that you love doing whether it be point of view content meme content makeup dancing hone in on that craft and do that tiktok loves people that um can have like some sort of niche that they're really good at and if you consistently be consistent post i post every day whereas i think tiktok you know they advise to post like maybe between three and five times a week but most creators post every day um on every few days so it's like really just depends on like what you're kind of in like what your schedule would be but yeah stay authentic be consistent do the trend hashtags and have fun have like the best time you can that's what i do and, my cat, just like my cat. <laughs> <laughs> and how do you cope with that, Stephen? Do you have um, so if you post every day, some t some days presumably you post more than once a day. Do you have times yeah. where you feel, oh, I'm absolutely killing it, and, and other times we think, oh, I'm falling behind, that I'm I'm not outputting as much as I would like to. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Right now, actually, I'm in that kind of zone where I'm not outputting as much as I want to because my views aren't great and it should never be about the views. And I think that's something people have to understand that it should never be about the views and likes and stuff. However, if it's part of your job, you then worry about it. So I do worry about that because sometimes you have big, big times, you have low times, everyone has it. It's just any social media. So at the moment, I'm kind of like that. I'm like, oh, I'm not going to put out like videos every day. Sometimes I'll put out three videos to five. Some people, sometimes I'll put out one video. Back in the day, years ago, I'd put it like 15, 20 because it was mostly like dancing or lip syncing or acting videos, which were very easy to do. But I think kind of what I've done is I kind of set a bar really high for myself in terms of my content so that I can't revert back to that now to kind of do that for an easy whim. It doesn't work on my page. The algorithm doesn't pick up. So it kind of, you have to, you know, some days are going to be bad. So sometimes I have bad days. Where I'm like, oh my gosh, like I've worked for four years. It's, um, it's slipping through my hands. I'm got my count dying. Um, but I say that a lot and, I, and sometimes I just I have to kind of just have a rant to myself or to my friend and then just get on with it because at the end of the day I make content for um, myself and other people and if someone watches it and goes oh he inspired me or some, someone watches it and goes that made me laugh then my job's done like that's my day John like you know in the grand scheme of things to, to make someone's day or to make someone feel comfortable in themselves is a, a gift that that's you know priceless really so yeah i just get through my bad days by just having a day off posting one video being like if it does bad it does bad or if, I, if i'm i really post a video that i don't enjoy i think if i'm not i'm not gonna post it if i don't enjoy the video you know what i mean i have to have fun doing it that was probably a long answer to the question very broad but yeah stephen mckell what shouldn't i do on tiktok don't get swept up in the things, this is from personal experience, but don't get swept up in this, you know, looking at everyone else's accounts for the views, comparing yourself to other people, to um, thinking you've got to be like someone else. I've done all, all those things and it honestly, what it does, it just ruins your whole entire vibe. It's not something you want to kind of get involved in. You've got to be able to be yourself. So don't, don't compare yourself to anyone else, ever. Just don't do it. Believe me, it's the best thing. Just don't do it. And, and it's, it's almost as if you almost found your medium because you were posting on YouTube, 
but this one it just it just kind of unleashed something different i think it, tiktok's just more easy for me to make content and i think it was more easy for me to like have fun and like connect with fans so it was very much easier for me to make this the short form media and have and, and work around like the 15 to a minute 15 seconds to like a minute videos whereas youtube is like long long like longer videos and it was fun i can't say youtube wasn't fun it was great and it's not that youtube is bad i'd love to go back to it i'm planning to go back to it soon um, and do videos but like i it's the idea of like having to post like every single like week or every few days whereas you, tiktok's just so much easier to post it is hard for someone like me i can't just post you know a lip syncing thing or a dancing thing and it does well i have to really put effort into it so um and that's you know i mean because i think someone like me on tiktok or any platform i don't look like the natural beauty standard as people would have it i'm still beautiful but you know i think i don't have like what the you know our society nowadays deems as beautiful and like what you should watch so i kind of look out of place a little bit i act a bit out of place which i love that i love being like the alternative kind of influencer creator whatever you want to call it but I'm, all, I'm on the outside looking in on a lot of stuff when it comes to like being in, on the end of things. My cat's just jumping around my room right now, so I do apologise. But yeah, um, YouTube was just a bit long, it was just long videos and it was filming it, editing it, and I just think TikTok just, oh, just took up over that and I thought, I just need to focus on TikTok now, and that's what I did. I thought if I'd focus on both of them now, I don't think I'd be as successful or, or as big on tiktok as i am now because i am um, i just ditched youtube and was like i don't have the i don't have time for it i've got to just do something else and then that's what i did so and it sounds like there's something driving you behind that then because it's it's one thing to post a lot but to keep going there it, it seems like there's something behind it stephen something that yeah um th th there's, there's something that you want to express I want to be the person that I didn't have growing up watching on TV or, or social media. So I, I'm 26, so I, I didn't really... Social media was a thing in, like, in like the mid noughties But it wasn't a big when I was the ages of like, you know, 10 to 16. It, you know, you were outside all the time. That's what, like, that, that's what I try to explain to people. You weren't on social media all the time. It wasn't massive then. Um, and especially in like Scotland or anything. So I wanted to be the person that I didn't see in like TV shows or I didn't see in like social media when I first started it. It was all very much the same people. Brands or companies were only focusing on the same people. Whereas um, I'm not, you know, I'm fat. I'm someone that's asexual. I'm someone that's looks a bit out of place. And that's all positive for me. Fat is not a negative word that for me I, I use it as a positive because I'm fat, but I'm flawless, you know what I mean? So um, so I wanted to be the person I didn't have whilst watching social media, whilst watching TV. Um, so I was like, I'm, I'm going to be that person then. And I, and I think that I have. I like to think that if tomorrow TikTok shut down or my account was deleted or whatever happened, I like to think that, you know what, in, even with TikTok or social media in general, I think I like to think that I've done I've done well and I've hopefully I've inspired people and I've been inspired by people. So my legacy, if, there, if you could call it one, has it's been positive, it's been fun. I've stayed very authentic. Um, and that was one thing. I just that was it. I just didn't really see anyone else like me. And, and now, now there's a lot of people that are like me. That not like me. I think I'm quite a unique taste. But there's a lot of people that are that have got my initiative. Really, I think that are like, okay, I'm just gonna be different because difference, okay, and difference fun. If, you know, if everyone, if everyone was the same, the, like the world would be such a boring place. So um, yeah, I just wanted to be that person that I never had online or on TVs and moving stuff that I didn't have grown up. Totally, and what, what we're seeing now is the death of mass, isn't it? Mass media, mass entertainment, mass one size fits all. It's so positive that you're inspiring people to to, to share their voice. Yeah, that's it. I think, and for me, it's never been like been bigger than anything because size is not part of my comedy. You'll never see a video where I'm like, I'm so big, and like, that's never been part of my comedy because it's just it's not. I'm, I can you know, if that is some part of someone's comedy, then it's good on them, and like that's how you can relate to people and great it's never been part of mine so my thing's always been about it's all about be like be the free you is i've always had that that in my sassy squad but be the free you is a slogan that i always use people because it really is the hardest thing in life and this is the truth is to really be your free authentic self because you know when you are being free yourself uh you know you, you put yourself up you open yourself up to ridicule and people op opinionated about you and people being awful because they might not agree with what you do and to that i say you know i won't swear but you know, it, you just let, let them jog on because, you know, life's way too short to, to really worry about, about what anyone else thinks of you. And people think that, oh, he's like that on social media, but I bet in real life, and you'll meet me and I'll be like, I don't give, I really don't care. Like, if someone doesn't like me, that's a them problem, not a me problem. 
um, and, uh, and they can deal with that to the side. Um, it re really is, I think, especially nowadays, generation coming up, you know, I think even my generation's a bit soft, we're, we're the millennials, so we're a bit soft, but I was, in my family, I was brought up really tough, you know, really like, you've got to be tough, and I think a lot of people don't have that kind of toughness to, and so I try to teach people that, you know, if you're getting bullied, this is a big rant now, but if you're getting bullied, like, you know, or think people are saying something to you, then, like, don't, never let them see you sweat, you never, you know, and call them out on stuff, because people that are like that hate getting called out, no one loves, it, bullies never like getting called a bully, you know what I mean? So, I try and teach people to love them, the skin that you're in, and if you don't love it, change it to a way that, to, to your standard, not someone else's. So it's just, you know, I want to be that, I just want to be that voice that people can listen to. But it, it's about your size, your mental health, whether it be your sexuality, um, whether it be about um, being inclusive and diverse. I just hope people kind of watch my content and be like, oh, like he's someone that gets it. And I learn every day. I don't know everything about everything. You know what I mean? I don't, that's the truth. I don't. I learn, I learn just as much as everyone else does. So um, people think that I, you know, he must know it all or he thinks he knows it all. I don't. That's the end of my TED talk. <laughs> <laughs> There's, there's one. Should we take a little drink break? Yeah, that'd be great actually. Let's take a little tr drink break. I've got some, got some juice here. And you two at home, why don't you have a drink too? I love it. Oh, yeah. I love it, I love more. Ah, refreshing. <laughs> <laughs> I love that, it's a good segment, I love it. <laughs> What's going to grab someone's attention in the first four seconds? Because that's your window that you've got. Sometimes it's shorter depending on what kind of video it is, but you've only, only got your first few seconds to hit someone with what you need. Because if you hit them for the first few seconds, they'll stay for 15. And if you're still good then, they'll stay to 30. And please, hit the subscribe button below if you want to see more great British YouTubers. There's a playlist and a podcast. All the links are in the description below. I'm Neil Mossy, and I'll see you on the very next Great British YouTubers.